it's all good, and I uh, hope that um, everybody walks away with something a little bit more than the music, um, because we do. So, okay. Um, well said. Well said. So. Yes. We don't really have an on deck circle. No, we in don't. In this room. We don't, but there's no sign up sheet. Unlike those of you that actually play up with Mike's periodic, you know that the difference is we actually like each other. <laughs> we look forward to hearing each other play, unlike the real world where people really care about themselves playing. We don't have, we don't have to worry about sound systems here. It's a great sounding room. Um, we'll just say who wants to go next. People will stand up. Uh, in the beginning, if everybody will please just do one song so we have time to get everybody to play. Dinner We've, is going to be early tonight. Right. It's the show night. It'll we be know, 5.45. Yeah, we, we know there are also our loopholes. We talked about this a little bit. If you're doing a duo or you have an ensemble or something like that, and a solo thing, that's that's acceptable. But so we have a hook. <laughs> we do have the hook. And also, like we're saying... And I yeah, almost used it on the two of you. Hey, hey. It's been 45 minutes. Hey. It's been years since I've had to like crawl on my hands and knees and go to Jack. Because <laughs> well, I used to do that in the beginning, everything was like, you know. I'm an artist. <laughs> hey, you know what his answer was last night? Play everything faster. <laughs> Another, another cautionary note, if you set War and Peace to uh, music, just half the first chapter, please. <laughs> yeah, keep guessing for the second half. I heard you had a surprise guest in your class. Today. Yeah, I had, a, I had a great time. I, 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 met, yes, I, yeah, it was, uh, I was bragging to Vanessa about it. We're both geniuses here. But uh, while we were out on our, on our annual worst winter in in the country, worst area in the country tour that we do every January and February. Um, I was on the bus and I, I was, we were talking about, we were looking forward to the new, new school year. And I said, hey, it's great, Marty's going to do, do um, a couple of nights there with his band. I said, great, we were talking about, I was wondering what the band sounded like and what, what, wonder what it's like. I said, I kind of thought about it for a while and I came back to you and I said, you know, I'm going to call up Marty up. I'm going to ask him to see if he can sit in on one of my classes. Because uh, wouldn't it be great for for the bass players to have a singer-songwriter down there that just just sits and plays the guitar and, and writes all these great songs? And, and you know, we, here at this class, Norm is a, a master guitarist, uh, and he's teaching that, that genre. But it's also fascinating that Marty can, can write... Uh, or, uh, songs by basically using a strumming technique on the guitar without too much inter involvement within the, the chordal structure and yet get all the melody out, get all the, the subtleties out of, of a melody versus chords and get it out there and, and sell a few million records too. Yeah. But um, I thought it would be great to have them down in the class. And I think my students loved it, and, and I did. And then uh, we did some songs that we'd done with the airplane, and we did some songs. Um, uh, I said, Marty, show me a new song, you know. So he showed me a song that we're going to do tonight for for one the, uh, for the encore. It would be it would be great Two to chords. have a little feedback from the students in that class because yeah. I think Marty's a little apprehensive about teaching a class on his own, but if he sees that everybody just really dug it, maybe that'll. Well, I talked to him, I gave him the spiel on the way back up, and I said, you know, if you're a singer-songwriter, it would be great if you could teach the craft work of, of setting the written word to, to a melody and, and, and song, a chord structure. I said, uh, people would love it, you know. And he certainly, I think, within the hour that he was down there, he got pretty comfortable with, with showing the songs, because that's what he does a lot, you know, he shows them to the musicians. He says, here, a song goes like this, let's play it. And then it's up and running. You know, he he's one of the, the quickest to to write a song and then get it, flesh it out and get it up there and running with the people he's going to play with. So uh, that's a good um, uh, a good form. It was great. I, mean, I had a ball. Good. Okay, let's get some songs up and running. <laughs> so one bass. Yeah. The bass students. Okay. Because you're not doing class thing, right? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, wait, I've got to get
get 10 bass players up there? Get out of it. It's, 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 it's been done that. before. We had them lined up here, but we're not doing that today. Okay. That's it. Okay, good. Thank you, Thank you Vanessa. Thank, Thank you, Jack. You. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. So good, Dennis. <laughs> the camera. Would you like this this close to you? That means put on camera. Very good. Oh yeah. This is my first public performance, so. We're here. Yeah. And, uh, Can you go and stand a little bit? I just want to say thanks to my fellow uh, classmates in the in the uh, songwriting workshop and especially to Berlin who's really helped me a lot. So, um, okay, so. I think it's as low as it goes. The name of the song is uh, "Lazy Days of Summer." <clears throat>
Are you filming? Yes, it is.